Welcome to Liquid Channel. Today we will see Albert Switzer by Norman Weimer. Let's we discuss the summary. Discuss Albert Switzer contribution as a medical missionary and highlight the qualities that enabled him to complete his project successfully. In introduction part the prose piece Albert Switzer is an extract from the book The Hospital in the Forest by Norman Weimer. As the title indicates, the prose piece is about the life of Switzer. He is a 30 years old French citizen working as a principal of theological college at the Switzerland University. Turning point of the Switzer's life. In autumn of 1905, Switzer came across an article in the journal of the French Missionary Society. It described the miserable condition of Africans in West Africa due to diseases and poverty. The article invited volunteers for the medical missionary to help people in West Africa. Due to poverty, people hardly had something to eat. Sometimes they stayed without eating for two or three days. Most of them suffered with leprosy and dysentery, so there was an urgent need to help them. Sister decided to render his service to the Africans. Switzer was affected by the news and decided to go to something for the poor Africans. As he studied in a village school where many poor students studied, he understood the pain of poverty. He already had a desire to do something for the needy people. When he got this opportunity, he decided to render his service to the Africans. Thus, he decided to join the medical missionary. Helen and, and then support his thoughts. He shared his decision to Helen Beslu, a nurse with whom he was in love. He expressed his desire to go to West Africa and to build a hospital with his own expenditure at Lamarine in Kanko. Shocked, Helen replied that a qualified doctor only could join medical missionary. Through Switzer already had three degrees in philosophy, theology and music, he energetically replied that he was planning to do medicine. Helen explained about the difficulty of studying at that age, but he was ready to face everything. By understanding his interest, Helen supported him by stating that she too would accompany him to West Africa. Soon Switzer starts his medical training, meanwhile he faced depression and pain, but due to his hard work, he got his medical degree in 6 years. Then he planned to expenditure for the construction of a hospital. His friends and relatives after knowing his plan tried to stop him, but later understood his desire in it. They too helped him with their gifts of money. When everything was ready, he married Helen in 1913. Switzer traveled to Lamrain. After marriage, they both sailed to West Africa with medical supplies and gold. They reached Port Gentle after traveling for two months. From there, they traveled towards Lamrain in streamer in the dirty yellow water around the tangled forest for 200 miles. Switzer starts his service. The missionary welcomed them and arranged them to stay in a broken bungalow. Switzer and Helen cleaned the bungalow and converted a part of its dispensary. They changed the boathouse as a sick bay and chicken house as a consulting room. Due to space constraints, operations were done in an open space. The news about the arrival of the doctor reached the Africans. They called him as Oganda, African name for which doctor. Many people with the hope of getting cured with various diseases visited him. Complications to treat people The problems of place for treatment were sorted out. Later he had problems with the language. As he did not know the African dialect, he could not talk to the patients. The ignorant people without understanding the treatment brought complicated to him. Often they drank the ointment which were mean to apply and applied the powders which were to swallow. Joseph sought out the problem. That problem also was sorted out by Joseph, an African who spoke both French and the African dialect. 
he joined as their interpreter the doctor used to write the complications of the patients on the cardboard and hang around the patient's neck joseph explained the instructions of the patients joseph's efficiency enabled him to learn elementary training in first aid and medicine and later worked as a male nurse later he acted as an assistant at operations ignorance of anatresia the africans were ignorant about anatresia and they thought it as a miracle once an african girl amazed about anatresia and considered switzerland as a magician or a god she explained the process of using anatresia and operations as first the patients were killed and cured them and later gave life to them as he became very famous people started coming from far away places to treat several hundred patients he used to, to treat several hundred patients every day due to it he worked from early morning till midnight meanwhile he was working on the constructions of hospital he did not receive anything as free from the sick people regarding fees he said that when they get cured they could help him later Switzer and Joseph toiled at construction of hospital. Switzer and Joseph toiled hard with treating patients and with the constructions of hospital. Later they cured patients and helped him with the constructions of the hospital. By the end of the first years in Lamrain the hospital was ready with the world for an inpatients and in dispensary surgery waiting room a room for Joseph and an operation theater. He trained many Africans and employed them as his assistants. As the hospital space was huge, more number of patients started coming. He continued his service for a poor. After his stay in Africa for three years, he received an order from the French government to serve in the First World War in nineteen seventeen. Through he decided to return soon. His stay was prolonged due to various reasons. Switzer decided to his life to Africans. Finally, he reached Africa after five years to find his hospital in a ruined condition. The African recognized him and shouted happily about his return. Soon, all the sick people came in search of him. Once again, he restored the damaged hospitals and soon he constructed a larger hospital in a different place. Switzer received a Nobel Prize for the peace for his service to people in 1952. He continued to serve the people till his death that was till 1965. The prose projects the humanitarian con- concerns of a person named Switzer who decided his life for the welfare of the people. In the video ungalku pidichirundha marakam like pannunga share pannunga comment pannunga subscribe panni kooda irukka bell icon press pannunga. Thank you for watching.